Hello everyone and welcome to Mixed Media Menagerie for July. This month um, we are joined by Tina from Tina Hoist and Art. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, on Instagram, which her uh, links and everything will be below. Uh, this month our theme is fabric, oil sticks, and birds. So those are the things that we have to use or feature. So if you don't know what oil sticks are, they are different than oil pastels. Um, oil sticks are actually oil paints in a like hardened stick form. So they do dry unlike oil pastels. So they are um, a little easier to work with or at least layer into an art journal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, like this. So what I'm doing here is my normal gluing down some collage papers at the bottom and covering it with gesso. This time I am doing a thicker layer of gesso than I normally do. Um, my idea behind this was because um, the oil sticks are very textured. Um, just oil paints in general allow for a lot of texture. So I wanted, if there was some sort of textural element, like scraping away at something, I wanted something to peek through underneath. And I did the thicker gesso because these are oil paints, and um, even though it's acrylic gesso, it will still work. And especially it's just our art journal, it's not really a big deal. Um, so this is my box of different oil mediums. I only have oil pastels and oil sticks. So I'm going through my colors here and deciding which colors I want to use. I have mostly Shiva oil sticks. They, um, Shiva is a, obviously an oil paint company that creates the sticks. I also have some, I think they're RF or R and F pigment sticks that I got on, I got on Amazon. Um, my mom also got me some of the oil sticks. She got me a set of them. So they, the RNF ones come in a smaller size too, so you can kind of try them out. The RNF ones are a little more creamy than the Shiva ones, but I ended up sticking with the Shiva sticks for this one. Um, so something that you have to do is you have to peel off, there's like this crust that kind of forms on the oil stick. Um, as it dries, so you have to kind of peel that off before you can use it, which can be messy. Um, some people would probably say, why aren't you wearing gloves? Um, just to protect the hands and stuff, but to, for me, it's a lot harder to do these kinds of things when I'm wearing gloves for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, but you can also rub off these, these little skins with like a paper towel, which I ended up starting to do um, at some point. But <laughs> I am using this, uh, doing like a blue, and there's a, it's kind of like a periwinkle blue, and then a sage green, and then a mint green to create my background. Now, just like oil paints, because I mean that's what they are, they take, this. these will take like um, a day to dry. They took almost a full 24 hours to dry and even then it was still like in the thicker areas a little tacky. Um, so you'll want to think about that when you're planning something. If I had had more time slash hadn't been procrastinating, <laughs> I would have let this green and mint green and blue background dry before I added any other colors but I did procrastinate and needed to kind of work a little quicker and um, so therefore I, I wasn't able to wait for it all to dry but I'm using my palette knife you could use a brush I'm trying to kind of blend things together so it looks a little less um, like I colored in crayons I guess um, so you can use a palette knife to palette knife to kind of smush things together you can dig out um, and and make like these textural things like I'm doing you can also dig out the paint from the oil stick 
and apply it that way instead. And again, you could scribble it on and use a brush. The only reason I don't use a brush is because I am too lazy to clean the brush when I'm done. So um, I opt for the palette knife instead because it is a lot easier to clean. Um, so now I'm adding like a yellow ochre color and I'm going to also add this light pink color. It's, um, I can't remember what the color is called. I'll have to go back and look. It came in the set that my mom got me actually. And so I really, I really like the pink with the yellow. Um, and I kind of like this sort of color scheme. Again, I would have let it dry if I had had the time to, so that way it wouldn't have mixed all together. But I kind of don't mind that it did. I mean, it looks kind of kind of neat and just messy and, and stuff like that. I haven't decided if I really love oil paint yet or not. I mean, I've never used like real oil paint, so I'm not sure. Um, I've only ever used the sticks, but it's like, I, I feel like I don't have enough patience as it is for, you know, even just acrylics. That's why I always have like so many projects going on at one time that I don't know that I could handle waiting for things to dry. I would just be like staring at it and wondering when I can touch it. So I'm done adding my layers of color for the most part. So now what I want to do, um, the other thing we had going on this month was fabric. So, and then also birds. So my idea was to make a little nest out of a bunch of fabric pieces. Um, so I have some cheesecloth, some sari ribbon, some um, other kinds of ribbons that I have and I'm just kind of pulling the fibers out of some of them so that way I can build a little nest of sorts. So now as I pointed out the oil paint is still wet so I am just sticking the, the little fabric cluster into the wet oil paint and my hope is that it will just dry stuck there. Now I know it's not going to be perfect and, and whatever, but um, that's kind of just what I'm going for. And then as I, as I stuck this little nest thing on here, I realized that there wasn't anything it was really sitting on. Like it was sitting on this kind of yellow blob, but... Um, it needed some kind of shadowing effect a little bit. So I'm going to take a Payne's Gray oil stick and just add some marks and color with it.
All right, so now it is the next day and everything has dried and I am adding some spray paint through this Unwow Studio stencil. Uh, the spray paint is parchment uh, from Liquitex and I'm just and it's kind of going all over and then also adding some splatters and some stuff like that. Um, now some people would say that you're not supposed to add anything over oils. Oils are supposed to be the last thing that you add to anything because of reasons. And at least that's what I have always been told. I know that is true with oil pastels because they don't dry, but I say this is our art journal and you know, who cares about the rules? Do whatever you want. So that's what I'm doing. And um, we are going to now spray paint the um, these this bird stencil. This is a stencil from Dina Wakely. And I am spray painting it onto a book page so I can cut out the birds and um, add them to the spread. And you might wonder why I wouldn't just spray paint them directly onto the spread, but I wasn't entirely sure where I wanted them to go. And also, um, I wanted a little bit, I just, I thought it would be a better idea. So I cut out the birds and I am adding um, a word to the nest because I, I felt like it needed something. I had tried to add some brown to it um, and that didn't really work out. Uh, so kind of covering a little bit of that up but also making more of a focal point and nests, I mean birds, find everything that they, they put in their nests. So I thought found was a good word to go with that. Um, and then you'll see I'm trying to play with the layout of the birds. I like, I like those two black birds up there. Um, I liked these feather chipboards, but I felt like the feathers were too big for the nest and then I kind of wanted them on the side, but then I wasn't sure. So I'm kind of just playing around with it and trying to figure out what orientation I like everything in. So I have these flying bird stamps that are from 100 Proof Press and I am stamping them um, into the, what is the background, um, just so we have more, more birds flying around. And these are, they're two different stamp sets that I'm using, but I think, you know, the way it stamps onto the, the oils and everything, um, looks pretty cool. So then I'm again, I'm trying to play around with this chipboard, these chipboard feathers and decide if I like them or if I don't. I painted them and then didn't really like how they looked when I painted them. Um, so instead, I am going to go with one of the birds, um, one of the other birds that I spray painted and that's going to find its home um, on the left page. And that is going to be it for this project. I know I didn't add splatters at the end and we're all shocked. Um, but I hope you really enjoyed this, um, challenge, this using a new product that maybe you haven't heard of, um, and maybe learning about some new things. If you would like to be a guest artist, uh, please feel free to fill out the little get to know you application thingy. Don't forget to create along with us using the hashtags and that we have the mini kit available from Peace Craft Love. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you check out Nicole and Aaron's and Tina's and I will see you guys next time.